welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be so amazing. This is something I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. It's a video about all of the lighting in our house. So every light in our house is by Kitchler. We love Kitchler. We fell in love with Kitchler in our last house when we did our landscape lighting, which is so funny because the landscape architect and the landscaper were like, oh, you gotta do Kitchler landscape lights. They're the best. And so like that just stuck in my head. They're the best. And so that's the first place I looked when I was building a home and I was blown away. They have so many amazing lights and I'm gonna show you the ones that we picked for our home and I am thrilled with them. I am over the moon thrilled with them. And it's amazing what lighting does for your home. It really does level it up. So these are something that you can add or replace or whatever you wanna do in your home. They have so many options, something for everyone's taste and we're gonna get started. So we're in the entryway and the very first light I wanna talk about is this gorgeous chandelier. So I'm gonna be linking every single light that I'm talking about so you guys will be able to look in the description and actually click on the lights and shop them for your own home or the, the projects or whatever redecorating you're doing or even make design boards for your dream home because that's fun too. So make sure you check all the links out, but this first one is Trentino. Look how gorgeous it is. I love it so much. And it is the most beautiful statement piece right when you walk in the door. Okay, next we have these wall sconces that are gorgeous. They're called Serene Wall Sconces and they are LED and they have these three frosted textured pieces of glass and then this gold wrap bar. They're so beautiful. We put them in several spots in the home because I was so obsessed with them. Okay, so next is the family room and we ended up doing two of these Berkeley or Berkeley. I'm not sure if you say Berkeley or Berkeley, but they're gorgeous and they have several different sizes. This is, I think, the largest size and we did it in the black. And there's two of them because the room's kind of large, but they are just, so stunning like they're eye-catching they fit the room they're so calming and beautiful i love them so like i said i put these serene wall sconces in a few other places i wanted to show you this one also because i just love it it's beautiful they are so versatile we have them in the theater room too i'm going to show you in a minute like they just kind of go wherever you want to put them so here we are at the dining room i my heart skips a beat every time I look into this room, you guys. And the chandeliers are called the Urzo. They're from Kitchler, of course. And we did two of them again because it's such a large, long room. And I love how it turned out. I'm so excited to do all of our family dinners here. I love this space, the beams, everything. It's just its own whole vibe and it's perfection. They did so good. Okay. So the name of these are the Coulter's Pendant Lights and I did not understand how cool they were until they got here and we plugged it like the electricians installed them and everyone, even the electricians, we were all just like, whoa. And that's always the first thing people say when they come in because they're mesh, you can see through them. I love how open it leaves the room. You don't feel like there's something that's blocking your view and I love them. They're so cool. LED, of course. Um, I don't know how they did it, but it's amazing. Do not even hesitate to grab these. Okay, and here in the pantry, we have these three giant gorgeous wall sconces and they're called Finnick. Let me just tell you, on the picture does not do it justice. When it came, the scale on these are so good. I actually didn't realize the scale and I bought them for a spot for my vanity and it didn't work because they would have like hit me in the face because they're so big and I was gonna put them low and I wasn't even mad about it because I was like, oh, I'll put them in the pantry. Look at this, they're perfect, they're beautiful. And yeah, I mean, what else can you say except for like the wood detail on the top, so fun. There's like these little wood doggles. And I just love them. These are probably my second, oh, I can't even choose favorites. It changes every day. Some days these are my favorites. Some days these pendants are my favorite, the chandeliers. So you can see behind me, these are the Darton ceiling lights. Guys, I fell in love with these two. They're in several spots. We have them in a hallway and then another spot in the basement that I love. They are so cute. So there you go. They're so fun. 
Okay, and we are in the powder bath now. This is the Elias Light, and it is giant too, which I actually love. It's so cool. This would be even really cool above like a table. I don't know. It's so versatile. But we put it in the bath powder bath, and I love how it ties in the black hardware and everything. So there you go. So now it's the Elias Outdoor Wall Light. This is the same category as the powder bathroom light, but it's a wall light and they may, are made for outdoors, but I just thought they were super cute. So we put them in the laundry room and I love how they turned out above the shelves. I need to style these shelves, but we'll see one day if I get to it, but. Okay, next is the Dombard lights, and we did some black, some gold in these lights, and I put them all throughout all of the bedrooms, except for ours, and all the closets and a few hallways. They are so pretty. They have three tiers, and they are LED, and they're just, they're really cool. And I despise the other, like the boob light. You guys are, you know what I'm talking about. Looks like a boob on the ceiling. I was like, I'm not doing that anywhere in the house. So these are just like a simple, beautiful light that you can put anywhere that does not look like a boob. Okay, these layered rings, they draw their inspiration from the French Pantheon. So I loved that. I just thought they were super pretty. So I put them in my closet, in the halls, you'll see. And then um, this is another spot where we used the, the wall sconce from the pantry. The thinnick wall sconce from the pantry. We also used it in this little like hallway to the bathroom. And guys, the bathroom is gonna blow your mind, okay? There's so many Kitchener things. They do these mirrors too that I'm about to show you. I love them so much. It's like the most perfect even lighting ever. So I just wanna stay in front of the mirrors whenever I'm filming videos, but here we go. Okay, here are the mirrors. They're called the Radonna mirrors. And you guys, they have LED lighting all the way around the sides and then a bar across the strip of the top. The scale is amazing. Look how giant they are. I love them. They're so fun. And then these wall sconces too. So these are the Trentino wall sconces and I love how they turned out. They leave this beautiful little vignette on the wall and they are so cool. They just look so cool. Okay, so for my vanity, we did a different style because I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. This is the Maneo mirror and the Jasper wall sconce so there you go and then this cute chandelier is actually like the mini baby to the big daddy chandelier that's in our um it's not called the big daddy the real name is so this chandelier is like the little mini to the same one that we have in our bedroom it's called the blonde blonde i wanted to say blonde but it, i think it's blonde I'll put a link in the description. You guys will be able to find it. And it's so perfect and little and cute for above the tub. So I love that they match and I'm gonna show you the master bedroom next. So let's go. Okay, here it is. The 12 light blonde chandelier. This is another one that blew my face off when it came because on the pictures, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that big and you can't really tell. And then when it get, got here, I was just like jumping up and down with joy. It's so beautiful. I hope you can see how beautiful it is in the videos. Um, this is a 100% two thumbs up. Love it, love it, love it. You'll be so happy. So all of the exterior lights are in the same, like, like they all match. They're the South Hope lights and I did them in several different sizes. I did really big ones for the RV garage. So I did the biggest ones for the RV garage and then the middle ones were the next biggest size for the garages. And then these are the smallest. They're so little. I just thought they were cute for the back patio. And then if you look up here, we did two of these beautiful tranquil ceiling fans and I love them. I just think it's gonna be so nice in the summer to cool it off in here. And I have not decorated all this yet. It's coming soon, but it's going to be one of my favorite spots, definitely in the spring and fall to just relax out here and let the kids play as soon as we get a yard. But <laughs> okay, we're in the bathroom now. And these are the Kennewick um, vanity lights, I think they're called. And they're just really pretty. I love them. So there you go. Next are these cute white and gold Rosberg vanity lights. They are so freaking adorable. The girls' bathroom is probably one of my favorites. I just love the gold and the black and the white. It's so clean and so fresh, and they're just 
They're perfect. Here is an example of the bedroom, the lights that I was telling you about upstairs in my closet and the bedrooms. There you go. This is just a cute room. I love Daisy's room. Okay. This is the Meller vanity, bathroom vanity light. And it's so cool. I love how it's see-through and the metal detail. It's perfect for the boys' bathroom. It would go good anywhere, but I just loved it in this area. So there you go. All right, and this is the smaller Berkeley light. This is the one we did in Zade's room and in Davy's office. And look how cute it is. It's the exact same as the ones up in the living room. It's just miniaturized. I love that they have different sizes of lights, so it's so easy to be able to fit in any space. I love this space so much. This is something I wanted to create for all of our kids that love to read. So many of them are little bookworms, and I just think it's fun to put all the colorful stuff and all the fun books here. And they have been picking them up. I'm gonna be rotating out books so that they kind of read through the ones that are up here, and then I'll change them out so that they feel like they have an at-home library. And the light up here is the same as the ones in the mudroom. So this is another cute place that we used it and I just think it turned out great. I'm gonna show you something super cool. All of these serene wall sconces are actually dimmable if you hook them up with a dimmer and look. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's perfect. Look, you can turn off the other lights and then just have the dimmers for movie night. It is so cool to be able to have just a little bit of light to be able to walk around and not like fall down the stairs, but still be able to see the projection on the screen. So this is probably my favorite place that we put the serene wall sconces. And Davy designed this room, so I'm super proud of him because it turned out beautiful. And that's the end of our lighting tour for the house. All right, so thank you, Kitchler, so much for helping us make our house so beautiful. Check out all of the links in the description and make sure that you guys check out their lighting. They have so many more options. If you didn't fall in love with anything that I showed you, I promise you there's thousands of more options that you can definitely find the perfect light for your home and your space. And that's it. I hope you guys stay tuned. We're going to have another video coming out soon with more details. This has been a dream. We just love our home so much.